Well, I'll be danged, would you have a gander at this incredible stick of spruce tree here that seems to be growing from this jumble of logs and weight debris on the forest floor? I mean, what the cuss is going on here? Well, this is a prime example of a nurse log, or a nurse stump in this case, that speaks to the levels of complexity and intricacies that develop in a forest ecosystem over time. So we've got the stump to an old western red cedar here, or Theopicata, that was cut down probably around 100, 120 years ago when this area was first being colonized and developed. And we can tell it's from that era because when we have a look here, we can see these notches. And these notches would have been cut into the base of this tree here by old school loggers back in the day who would have put a plank into that notch known as a springboard, which they then would have stood on top of to cut this tree down, you know, using a big two-man saw above the fluted base of the tree where the wood grain starts growing much straighter, which basically makes it much easier to fell. Now, after this tree was cut down, this forest around here would have started to regenerate naturally um, because this was an era way before tree planting was a thing. Um, and this cedar stump would have started to decay. It would have started to collect detritus and leaflet on top of it, which would have formed a little layer of soil on top of that. Now, if you're a cedar, or if you're a sick of spruce cone, like this one here, and you happen to fall from your mother tree and you land, somewhere in the understory there under all those bushes, it's gonna be really hard to get the light and nutrients and resources you need to germinate and then grow and survive in that shady environment. But if you happen to land on top of a cedar stump that's already got a little layer of soil on it, it's got exposure to light, you can germinate into that soil there and you send these roots down into that duff and eventually along the outside of the trunk of this, the old stump here, uh, as this spruce is done into the soil, we're gonna get a much more steady supply of nutrients and water to continue to grow. And we can see those original old pioneering roots that would have come down along that stump ages ago and then over time as this spruce tree grew and gained more girth and mass it would have split this cedar stump just like that to become a behemoth of a tree growing in the remnants of its predecessors and we can even see we've got a little western hemlock here growing epiphytically on top of that so we've got life on life on life here and then as this cedar stump continues to erode and decay it's eventually going to create a cavity here at the base of the spruce that's going to become a habitat for all sorts of critters like martens and bears and it's this complexity that only develops um, as these forests mature over time that we simply cannot replicate in our industrial modes of logging that we operate in today so it's pretty awesome to see that happening in real time what a beauty. Wow.